Hey YouTube, Darren here. Uh, just kind of an update as to what all's going on. Well, we survived the Mayan apocalypse. There were no zombies, damn it. But I did want to give a couple of shout outs to some people and uh, do a little shop talk today. Not going to be doing anything uh, with the mowers today. I'm still moving all the shop over uh, to my bigger building. So uh, there's not going to be a lot of fun stuff uh, for a few days till I get everything squared away. I can't play. Till I finish my work but these are the shout outs the people that have subscribed to the channel Gregory five four three two one zero thanks guy appreciate it R I C O C H E T L P one thanks for subscribing man and uh, the third one Murray mayhem no space in between uh, he actually subscribed to the channel. There is another one. Um, he's a nice guy. Uh, got a couple of cool videos. Go to his site and take a look at it. Also, <clears throat> I wanted to uh, uh, mention and thank Hyde Empire RPM. Thanks for the kind words, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, it makes me feel good. I hope that helps as far as how to do introductions. I may actually uh, break down and do a video of them. Uh, Teeman. T-Man from T-Man uh, Carts. Uh, he was kind enough to help me, uh, showed me how to do it. I can't shorten that one, guys. Sorry, it's a 30-second canned one. Uh, you can get shorter ones, but I don't think you can shorten that one. There may be somebody that can, but I don't know how to. Um, so, now we're going to go up here and uh, take a look at something uh, that I got kind of worked okay. out. Now we're back. Uh, this was uh, yesterday, I think it was, and we were leaving some uh, family's house to uh, for the holidays and had nieces and nephews with us in the car and my wife said she wanted to stop by Walmart and grab a couple of things and she said if you'll sit in the car I'll just run in and grab them and you can babysit and I said sure that's fine so I'm sitting in the car and before she gets out she says oh do you need anything I said no nah, grab me a six pack of beer and she said okay so we we're gonna watch some movies or something like that later and have some pizza or something and so she comes back and I open the door and get out and help her load everything in the trunk and I said, oh, you forgot the beer. She said, no, I bought us a bottle of wine. I thought we would spend some time together later. And uh, I said, oh. I said, but where's the beer? And she said, she said, no, dumbass. I'm talking about us spending time together. And I said, oh. I'll get lucky. We get home, play with the kids, and everybody comes and picks the kids up. And later on that evening, we're gonna open up the bottle of wine. I don't have a corkscrew. Don't. I've got thousands of dollars worth of tools. Welders, grinders, torches. I don't have a corkscrew. Couldn't figure it out. Now, my mother-in-law lives down the property a ways from us. You don't go ask your mother-in-law if you can get a corkscrew to open a bottle of wine so you can get lucky with her daughter. You just don't do it. It's just not right. So, this is what I came up with other than breaking the damn bottle. Okay, we got it set up. This is the actual bottle of wine. Uh, it is empty, of course. And that's the cork that's sitting on it. I've taken it out, can't get it back in, but it'll be great for demonstrations. And there is my power drill. Some of you have done this before, I'm sure. Uh, necessity is the mother of invention and as was beaten into my head years ago an emergency on your part is not an emergency on my part if you fail to plan you plan to fail now this was the cork this was in the bottle I took my drill drilled a deck screw into it started tugging wouldn't really work because I couldn't get enough grip on it so I pulled this out 
put the eye bolt in. This is good stuff. And the whole time I'm running around the house and the shop and shops in turmoil because everything's getting moved, can't find nothing. There. And so you take this on it. You do this. And you pull. So that is how to get the bottle line open. Go figure. Works out pretty good. And there is one other thing. Earlier in the week, we're getting ready to go to all these places, and she was using her mixer, and it burned up. I mean, you got to do, you know, making all the pies and the cakes and everything like that, and mixing the dough and everything. And she said, "Oh my God, I got to go to town." I'm thinking, "Crap! It's 45 minutes for me to go to town. 15 for me to go to a gas station. 45 for me to go to a Walmart or." Target or something like that. Thought, Crap. She said, do we have another mixer? I thought, no. Yes. Here you go. And this is how we made all the pies and everything for Christmas. And I bought her a mixer and she said it can't be a Christmas present. I'm gone, guys. Thanks for subscribing. I know it's a silly story. I thought it was kind of funny. Take it easy. Everybody that's subscribed, uh, I just want to tell you thank you. Hope you all have a good Christmas and Merry New Year. If the world doesn't end and we don't go off the physical cliff, damn physical cliff. Take it easy.